And we're live. Hello. Welcome. Today, we're playing some Fallout 4 because Starfield is uh, out in like a month. And I'm really excited. So, uh, I've already played through Fallout 3 again. And I want to make some videos on them. So, uh, I played through Fallout 3, put like 25-ish, 30 hours into that game again. Uh, and I've had enough. Not that I don't like the game. Just I've, I uh, nearly bit my tongue there. I've played Fallout 3 a lot. So, uh I just didn't want to spend any more time playing it because I've already played it loads, but I just wanted to get my feet wet again. So Fallout 4, a game I, as you can see, I have 11 hours on Steam. I have all the DLC. I've never played any of the DLC except for the Nuka World one. So I'll be interested because apparently Fire Harbor is really good. So hopefully I'll be able to stream this game like okay. Uh, 14, 4, I, I guess we'll... I guess we'll, like, knock things down just a small bit. Uh, like, I don't need to play everything on Ultra. I don't see why I shouldn't be able to play everything on Ultra. But, uh, yeah, I'll just, I'll just have to, uh, have to just mess around with the, with the controls and, or not the controls, the, uh, the stuff. So, uh, I just think, I have a feeling... I haven't launched this game in a while, but I have a feeling that I'm going to have to, like, dip. What, what is going on here? I can't control anything. Oh, no. I could control something there. No, now I can't. Sorry if you can't hear me, because I can't hear myself here. Okay. Can we get into Fallout, please? Yes. Okay, I'm into Fallout. Ah, how's it going? Uh, my best mate has 5,500 hours on the... Jesus Christ. Oh yes, the music. The music in this, I, I believe my last save had a load of mods in it. How's it going, Ryland? It's all going good here. Why am I only getting 48 frames a second? Why? I should be able to run this game. And the problem is that I'm going to have to keep dipping in and out. To like, make the game... Maybe, okay, I, I'll just... I'll just take my medicine. I should have sorted this out before the stream. That that would have been that would have been a better idea, but that's not how things work around here. Maybe if I just play the game at 1080p. We'll just do that. I, I, I can accept that. I don't mind, you know, resolution doesn't actually really mean what's going on. Why is my other monitor effect now? No. What's going on? This is the problem with, with streaming on PC. Is everything going to work fine here? Ugh, 1080p. Ugh. Ah, yes, there we go. We're playing it at 144. I'll take that. But now, okay, wait. Now you're going to have to bear with me for a couple of seconds. Uh, because now this isn't... Oh, I know what I can do. Wait, I'm an idiot. Uh, window capture. Create new. And then I can just... Uh, what? No, it's not a window, so it's actually not... God damn it. God damn it, Leroy. Uh, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Yeah, Atlas Fallen, uh, Ryland, is... just a perfectly okay game. Capture a specific window. Window. Fallout 4! <gasps> Is this going to work? No, it's not. Is it? Let me see. No, because, see... <gasps> it is working, kind of. The only issue is... Oh, feckin' streaming. I'm just, I'm just not good at this stuff. I need to pop out the chat. So if I pop out the chat here... Close this down. And then I can, like, put you over here so I can read the chat. And then I click on Fallout. And... Does everything work? See, something weird is happening. It, like, pushes everything over. I just want to be able to see. <gasps> yes. Okay. Everything's working. Okay, new game. We're playing at 144 hertz, which... I would much rather play a 1080p 144 than 1440p 60. Uh, that's just me. 
Uh, game audio's coming through. Everything's fine like that, yes? Okay, now what happens if I click... See, once I click out of this, it just... It just shits the bed. Uh, yeah, it just absolutely completely shits the bed once I... Restore chat. Because we don't need to have that open. I just need to be able to see. Yes. Okay. That should be everything sorted, hopefully. If you could let me know if everything is showing up fine. Audio. No messing around. Uh, do I really want to watch this? War never changes. No. War. The, the whole gist of that is war never changes. Thank you, thank you. War You're gonna knock them dead at the Veterans Hall tonight, hon. You think? Absolutely. Hey, now, the, the character creator in this game is pretty good. Right. But, oh, sh crap. No. No. I need to... Feck. Ah. Oh. oh, that's gonna be annoying. Wait, I need to... I think turn off the, the music. I won't be able to play the, the Fallout music. So you're gonna have to bear with me again. Because there was a licensed song in the background there. And I think that would probably just... I, I don't know if that's... See, it's not even like a money thing. I don't really care. It's whether or not the video will actually just be a, like be allowed to exist. Okay, settings. Audio. Radio. Unfortunately, that's very sad. Because the... Because the audio and the, the radio is just the best thing about Fallout. Actually, I wonder. No, I think I have a lot of mods on that thing, so we'll just have to go new. Bam, bam. Oh, you pre-ordered Super Mario Bros. Wonder. That game looks really good, but... Uh, I wouldn't say I'm, like, super excited for it. I'm, like, I will buy it, and I will be happy playing it, hopefully, if it's good, but... I just... Oh, I don't know. 2D Mario just... 2D Mario just doesn't do it for me the way 3D Mario does. 2D Mario is just like... Eh. It's fine. War You're gonna knock them dead at the Veterans Hall tonight, hon. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Okay, the music is still on in the background. I'm just gonna have to go with it. Well, I wonder if I just sing it. Alpha male, colonial, I need my long hair. Top knot, yeah, we got with a top knot. And then a nice beard. Uh, I don't want to spend too too long in this because I am afraid of that music. Over. Oh, I actually forget the lyrics. Oh no, it's been yonks. What do you think, hon? Yeah, we'll just go with that, beard lovely. No Sex, I, yes. Confirm. Yes. That's just what my character looks like. I don't really care what my character looks like. Over. But the crying. Ah, Codsworth. I remember you. Oh, this is so good playing this at 144 hertz. There's my son. Sean. Jeez, the baby model's actually kind of a... I, I don't know. Is it good? It kind of looks uh, a bit... I need to, like, sort my mic out here. It looks a bit, uh... Like a doll. I wonder what Sean will grow up to be. Has anybody ever, uh... Listened to a guy called, uh... What's his name? Dan Bull? And he does, like, gaming. I actually need to lower the, uh... Sensitivity. He does gaming related raps. And he did a very good one for Fallout called Your Special. And it's like a rap all about the, the different attributes and stuff. Now, as an opening, I really like this. This I prefer this opening than Fallout Tree's opening. Because it gives you a tiny, tiny glimpse into what life was like before. Uh, 
before like the the fallout, I guess, and it, it's it's really hey, cool. Hun. Can't believe it's yeah, I, uh, Louis, or Lewis, again, whatever your name is, whatever way you pronounce it, I, damn bull, my two favorite raps were your special, and then he did a Dishonored one, and I still, <laughs> as cringy as it is, I still remember all the lyrics of the Dishonored one, and it's so good. Uh, not interested. You're selling, I'm not buying. No, no worries, sir. No worries at all. I'm not selling anything. You can't begin to know Alright, Lewis, 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 Lewis. Like, I've fucking talked to you on a microphone. Like, we've a talked on a call before. I assure you. Uh, I'm here now. I'm just brutal with so names. So you are. So you are. Now, I'm here today to tell you... I want to turn on subtitles. It's all over but the crying. Okay, there. Cool. But Dan Bull was a legend. I fucking loved his stuff. And then he also had a really good one called uh, Home is Where the Hate Is, and it was a song about uh, Resident Evil 7. Go away. Won't take but a moment. We do need to verify some information to make sure you're cleared for entrance in the unforeseen event of <coughs> total atomic annihilation. Now, I can't wait for the world to end. <laughs> That's the spirit. Now, let's see. Oh, shit, I didn't think about my character I was going to build. Yeah, yeah, go on, Louis Lewis. We'll, we'll do. We'll see. We'll see what way, the, what way the, the sun is shining on the day. So, I always like to have a charismatic character because if you haven't noticed, I am charismatic and charming and, you know, just everything. I'm, I'm brilliant. Uh, in Fallout 3, I went with a very Vats heavy character because I knew that the shooting was going to be shit. Welcome, Fall. Uh, intelligence. See, mm, let me see. I think we'll just we'll just do like kind of a. I think I kind of hmm, look. Do I care about look? No. Agility. Vats perception. Vats. Let's just start. We'll put everything in tree. We'll just go tree for everything, and then I'll allocate some points. See, intelligence at zero is really funny. For, I'm not sure if you've ever played this game, but a lot of the... I don't know if it is with Fallout 4, but other Fallout games, if you have, like, really low intelligence, a lot of the, uh, the dialogue options are just you, like, mumbling. I do remember you, Thomas Panda. You raided me when, uh... Sticky art came into the chat. Okay. Perception. So, one in perception. You'll go two in charisma. Three. Intelligence. I don't care about luck. Do you know what? Luck can feck off. Who, who cares about luck? So, we go agility. We'll just do one in each. See, oh, hmm. Ah, no, we're just going one thing, and then we'll pop that into intelligence. Not really, not like, not really that, like, it doesn't actually matter. Adzi. It really doesn't matter. Welcome to the stream, Panda. Or Thomas. Panda. Panda's an easier name to remember, I guess. Wonderful. Um, yeah, all right, again. thank you. Hey, it's peace of it's mind. All over. It's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. <laughs> Who voices this guy? Good answer. I have my moments. Who voices main uh, character change. in Fallout 4? Brian T. Delaney. What else has he? What else has he been in? You heard Codsworth. Go on. Hoodwinked. Mr. Popper's Penguins. Now there as actors. What about voice acting? Been in a lot of TV. Okay, games. Kung Fu Panda. Need for Speed, Halo 4, Black Ops 2, Dishonored. So he's done like a load of... Oh, he voices there Wreck-It Ralph in all the games. He was in Infamous Second Son, Batman. He does a lot of like general voices. Cool. John Fallout. 
How are the two most important men in my life doing? John Fallout. Is, see, the funny thing, I, I know he's not real. Let me see if I look up John Fallout. What happens? He's a hairstyle slash barber. There you go. I'm playing this on PC. Yes, fo. Uh, so, like, I'm running it at 1080p. Uh, f uh, 144 hertz. And it's running fine so far. And I'm streaming off the same PC as well. Much better now, huh? Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. Ha <laughs> ha, the weather won't sh show up or hold up. Yeah, sounds fun. Sounds like fun. Sir, Mom, uh -huh. you should come and see this. Cosworth, what's wrong? See, this part is actually kind of really creepy. Like, not creepy, but quite horrifying. Imagine this happening in real yes. life. Followed by flashes, blinding flashes. Like, imagine sounds this like one day Vladimir Putin decides to just to have lost what are you drop bombs everywhere. And this is what you're listening what do you to. Have? That'd be quite what scary. Coming in. That's, um, confirmed reports, I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. Oh my god. Oh my god. We, we need to get to the vault. Let's go to the vault. I've got Sean. Leave, leave my wife. I think out of all of... Out of all of the Bethesda games, I think Skyrim has the best opening. Well, I've only, like, out of Oblivion, Fallout 3, New Vegas, Fallout 4, and Skyrim. I think Skyrim has the best opening. We need to get in. We're on the list. Infant, adult male, adult female. Okay, go ahead. Good luck, ma'am. Uh, the audio was desynced from the voice acting. Come on. What's gonna happen to all those people outside the gate? Everything we can. Now keep moving. Plus, I also like that in this game they decided. Uh, Step on the platform in the center. Uh, I also preferred. I also like that they decided to actually put color into this game. That is one thing about Fallout 3. Almost there. We're gonna be now, okay. I understand it's an apocalypse wasteland, but Both of you. We love you too. Uh, this can, you can still have a decent looking color palette in a game like this. And then also Fallout 3 was just a product of, we're in 2008, I have to be really gritty. Like I got a lot of that when I was playing uh, Armored Core on the PS3. That whole game is just completely just brown, just brown and gray and brown. We did it. We made it. Oh, for, oh yeah, fo, I actually remember that now that I think about it. I might have to click back out and change it. I don't think I could change that in here. Display, no. Ah, we'll see how it goes anyway. Because that was, wasn't that the thing with, uh, with Fallout 76, where if you looked at the ground, it would run at a higher frame rate, so then you'd move faster? So we just... Yes, up the stairs. That game was a disaster. But I had fun playing it. No, no. Don't get caught up thinking about that. You're safe now. Please proceed in an orderly fashion. This one's good. This way. Step over to the table. Take a seat. Mail. This way, please. Oh, yeah. For all the all the Assassin's Creed games, I do want to play a couple. But Thanks. all the Assassin's Creed games are what on PS Captain? Plus, so I'll just I'll just right. download them there. I actually have Syndicate and Black Flag downloaded on my PlayStation. I'll just I'm I'm kind of I'm working on a video for a couple of games, and then I'm doing uh, another PSVR two video, and then I want to do this sort of like follow video before Starfield. And then once Starfield and Armored Core 6 are done, I'll probably play a couple of Assassin's Creed games. Excuse me. Follow me. Just step in here and put your vault suit on. The pod will decontaminate and depressurize you before we head deeper in the vault. Just realize. Time for a whole new life. Resident secure. Occupant vitals, normal. Procedure complete. In five, four, 
Jesus, that's a good... Well, it's a good deal if the games are any good. I have the Ezio collection on Steam or on Switch, but I started playing them on Switch ages ago when I was like, Jesus Christ, I can't fucking play these games. They're so boring. Every Assassin's Creed game that I... I like the idea of playing the old Assassin's Creed games until you do a trailing mission and then you're like, why? Well, I sell the wife's ring. Is that something you can do? If I can, you loot her now and then get a, and then get the ring and then sell it. I didn't even know you could do that. See, that's one thing I'm gonna touch on in my video because when I was playing Fallout 3, even though I've played that game to death, there's so many, so much shit that you. Like, when you play a Fallout game or any Bethesda game, like, you can dip in for 10, 15 hours, complete the story, and still have a good time. Or you could just go in and do 20 hours of side quests, have a great time, or do a mixture of both, or regardless, unless you're one of these people that have literally completed every single quest and completed every single area, like a checklist, then, like, there's just so That's much stuff that, even though I've played Fallout 3 so much, I... Still found new Why stuff. Would Vault Tech do this? Come on, come on, come on. Oh, God! I'll find who did this. Then I'll get Sean back. I promise. I will admit, it's very weird having a voice protagonist. Just after coming, coming out from uh, <coughs> Fallout 3. I played Fallout 3 completely on the Steam Deck. It was great. It actually ran better on the Steam Deck than I remember it running on my old PC. Yeah, but like even still, like yeah, if people just run around and do their own, do the, the main quest, they're gonna miss out on loads. But it's also just great because then you have so much to do later on. Like, I, I've played Fallout 3 pretty extensively, like, multiple times. And even playing there, I, there was, like, stuff I'd, I'd never encountered before. Security baton. Oh, crap. Giant Jesus, the, uh... Roaches. The, what the hell? gameplay already feels 900 million times better than Fallout 3. The, I still love that game. I still love it to, bit, to bits. Fallout 3 is a great game, but Jesus Christ, is the... Just everything gameplay-wise, just so stiff. And yeah, I don't know how. Oh, that's actually really good, Fallout. Uh, the Steam Deck is great. The, like, the Steam Deck is something that I know I, I go through, like, phases of using. I don't use it all the time. But when I'm playing, like, there are loads of times where, you know, I'll put my Steam Deck down for, like, two months and not touch it. And then I'll play it, like, every night for, like, where is it? months. Because I can see myself doing that with uh, Baldur's... I, I've played, like, six hours of Baldur's Gate 3. That game is so good. But uh, I'm playing that exclusively on my Steam Deck. So I just like, in bed at night, I just chill and just play some, uh, yeah, with pistol. Just play some thingamajig, uh, Baldur's Gate 3, and perfect. Baldur's Gate 3, however, does make the Steam Deck run a bit hot. The thing Is sounds like a feckin' Gia Enion. Nice. Coming back later for you. Why is the... Fucking! Surely there's a way to change the FOV without having to go into an INI file. There mustn't be. 
Because this FOV is actually quite close. It's actually kind of annoying me, to be honest. Here's my cool character. Oh, a bobby pin. The terminal's got this locked. Uh, fo, I played... I've played Origins and Odyssey. I... Both of them, I enjoyed what I played of them. But I didn't even get close to beating them. Uh, they're just way too big. Oh god, the shoot is so much better. I really thought the shooting in this game... I need to lower down my sensitivity. I thought the shooting in this game still was quite stiff from what I remember. But I am completely wrong because that shooting feels good. Maybe it's just the fact that I'm coming straight off of playing Fallout 3. Maybe. But I need to change the FOV. Aha! Is anyone alive? Did anyone get out? Pip-Boy. I've always wanted Pip-Boy. I've always wanted a Pip-Boy. I know they, like, it was part of... What are the fault? Was it Fallout Trees Special Edition? What's a Starfield? God, Mark. You big noob. Starfield is uh, the new Bethesda game. That's coming out in less than a month now. Well, I think the early access is on, like, the 1st of September. Fingers crossed I get a code. Because that's a game that ideally I'll be able to... Get early and play a lot of before I can do a review. It's coming to Xbox. It's an Xbox. Well, it's an Xbox and PC exclusive, I guess. So, uh, it's exciting. I'm very excited. A, a new Bethesda game is potentially, like, is potentially another, like, Tears of the Kingdom or Elden Ring where just it just takes up everybody's time everybody's talking about it everybody loves it oh did you find this or did you see this part did you do this quest and that's why bethesda games are special and there's another thing just listen to that fucking music just listen to it absolutely amazing and even still to this day i, I recently i went back and played fallout 3 that moment when you come out of the vault in fallout 3 is still special now, obviously, I have nostalgia for it at this point, but it's still a special, special time. Change. No. We're going to finish, and we're going to go out into the wasteland. We're going to meet Codsworth. The the, my, only, my only problem with uh, Starfield now is that... Well, one thing what Fo just said there, bugs. There's going to be... Uh, I wonder can, can Bethesda get away with the bugs that they usually have because Bethesda obviously you know their games suffer from a lot of bugs and back in there were and I've now I've said this before I'm guilty of saying this but that it's like I give Bethesda a bit of a like a bit of leeway because you're like oh their games are massive everything's interactable you know I, I can give them I can give them cut them a bit of slack because uh, it's just there's so much going on that, yeah, there's going to be bugs. But then Tears of the Kingdom comes out. And I understand it's Nintendo. And Nintendo are just like... Nintendo are just special. But if Tears of the Kingdom could come out and... Basically have v almost zero bugs. And be as interactive as it is. I don't think Bethesda have uh, any, any excuses now. So we'll just have to wait and see. But, and yes, Fo, I do think, and a lot of people will get annoyed, because I'll probably bring this up in my review if the game is buggy. There is something to a buggy Bethesda launch. It depends on how buggy it is. If they're just like, you know, funny bugs where you see like an enemy just like fly up into the sky, they're hilarious. And they make for really funny like videos. And they also just kind of, that's just, just the... The culture surrounding a Bethesda game launch that I really like. Jeez, this game still looks fucking amazing, doesn't it? This game looks unbelievable. 
But yeah, there's something about Bethesda bugs that I really enjoy and they kind of add a charm to the game, as, as weird as that sounds. But uh, I know a lot of people get annoyed at me saying that. Uh, well, you're excusing them. It's like, no, I'm not excusing them, but it is still funny. Oh yeah, the shooting in this game is actually good. I forgot. I'm not even running this game on an ultra. I, I'm running that on like a, a, a kind of ultra to medium settings, foe. Uh, just because of the LP, because I'm streaming as well. I just want to be able to... Like, I think ultra 1440p... I don't think I'd get 144 hertz, but I should be able to get uh, 60. But I just, I don't want to overdo it because... You know, it's a lot of stress on, on the one PC. Because you can see it's dip Well, you probably can't, but it is. Well, you can't because they, they, you can only stream at 60 FPS. But, like, this is dipping between 80 to 140 FPS, depending. Oh, the fucking music. Oh! I love it. I love it. It's just... There's something so special about these... About... The atmosphere of a Fallout game. Hello, Codsworth! As I live and breathe... Oh, I played Need for Speed Underground 2 really once. You. Oh, yeah. They, see, them sort of bugs are funny, Ryland. My PC usually can run games at high enough settings. I just need shadows. Yeah, I'm sure there's, like, certain things. See, this is the problem with me not really Codsworth. knowing... Uh, PCs all too well. Like, I'm sure there are certain things that are just way more taxing that I could just turn off or lower and then it would make a massive difference. Well, besides our geranium still being the envy of Sanctuary Hills, I'm afraid things have been dreadfully Things will be so here. much more exciting with you and Mrs. Beck. Where is your better half, by the by? Hmm, that's weird. The audio is, has been quite weird on this uh, game. She's in a better place. Sir, it's definitely desynced. Definitely. Terrible thing. I, I believe you need a distraction. It's been ages since we've had a proper family activity. Check it. Uh huh. They oh, stole him. God damn it. It's worth. God damn it. Tell me what's going on. Two hundred years? That's so insane. You're a bit over two hundred and ten, actually, sir. Or oh, give and take a little. The Earth's rotation and some minor dings to the old chronometer. That means you're, uh, two yeah, this is weird. It's like it's like it's playing the audio lines as if I've skipped them about like eighty percent through them. Codsworth, you're acting. I, I, oh, sir, it's been just horrible. Hmm? Two centuries. With I love no Codsworth. I love him. <laughs> and don't get me started about the futility of dusting a... Stay with me, pal. Uh, I really I don't, don't... I, I really... I'm really not a fan of the... the how they went with the dialogue options, like one word instead of the way they do it in Fallout 3 in New Vegas. You and your family were... Dead. I did find this. Thank you, Cuts. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. Let's get into playing. It's all over, but the crying. But I'm gonna see the problem. Well, I will be playing this game off stream as well. But a problem is that I won't be playing it uh, when I'm streaming. I can't play with the radio on, which is a shame because that's literally ninety percent of a Fallout game. And I wonder. I, I really wonder how that will affect. Uh, Perfect. How that will affect Starfield. Because I think people are going into Starfield, myself included, kind of thinking that it's going to be a lot like Fallout. Obviously, it's not set in the Fallout world, but, you know. It's like a first-person shooter sci-fi RPG made by Bethesda. So definitely, you're going to be kind of expecting something along the lines of a Fallout game. But it's not going to have that same atmosphere and I wonder will they be able to 
not replace the atmosphere, but give... Or, well, yeah, replace the atmosphere, basically. Make something that stands up by itself. Holds up on its own, you know? Okay, I've got a lot of crap because I know exactly what I'm going to have to do. I'm going to have to start salvaging crap. I don't remember this game having so much ambient music. It's all over, but the crying. Can I craft it? Wait, please tell me. I don't remember this. Did you have to use the feckin' mouse and keyboard? Oh, now this, I remember this. And this was one of my favorite parts of the game. I absolutely loved trying to uh, cra or craft and upgrade your weapons. So cool. However, what we will do is transfer. Well, just transfer all my crap over because I don't need any of this. No, shit, I just did the opposite. Uh, yeah, we'll keep that. Grey knit hat. Yeah, we don't. Oh, I have two wedding rings. Oh, well, that would make sense. <laughs> I was like, why do I have two? But I'm just an idiot. Okay, we'll just transfer all this crap over. Is there a way to transfer all junk? There is. Store all junk. There we go. I've never... I think I've only ever modded Fallout 4 once, and I didn't mod it too heavily. See, because... I notice whenever I mod these sorts of games, I spend more time modding them than I do actually playing the modded version. So, I'm better off just putting the the time that I'll be modding it into just playing it, you know? Especially back in the day when mods were slightly harder to do than they are now. I remember putting mods on Minecraft for the first time. It took me ages to realize how to do it. Okay, store all junk. There we go. I really don't remember this game having so much uh, ambient music. Sir, your, your family isn't here either. They are gone, Codsworth. But we just have to make do. I know, actually, now that I remember, a lot of the mods that I downloaded were for easier settlement crafting and stuff. Because... Crafting stuff and settlements is, from what I can remember, is quite, like, cumbersome and annoying. And there's... I, I think... Because don't you scrap things by walking up to it and individually scrapping them? I'm pretty sure there was a way in... With a mod to just, like, mass scrap a whole area. And it just made everything so much easier. Sir, the missus and young Sean... They aren't here, Codsworth. Yeah. Thanks for trying, Codswell. You can't give up, sir. What about the city? Concord is nearby, and, well, the people there have only shot at me a few times. Thanks for your help, Codswell. Good luck, sir. You'll find young Sean. I know you will. I shall remain here and secure the home. Uh, Royal Knight, I only watched a handful of episodes of the new SpongeBob just because I wanted to... I wanted to give it just a couple of episodes before I played Cosmic Shake. But then, and I did actually enjoy it, but uh, I didn't re or it was actually cool because I didn't realize that uh, a lot of the, none of the jokes in the Cosmic Shake were references to newer episodes. So, oh, well, there might have been that just went over my head, but there was a lot for older fans. If I remember correctly, hmm, I think on this river, there's like a pumping station. Let me see. Yeah, Diamond City is the name of it, Fallout. Uh, one of the cooler cities in, in Fallout. I actually really like that. Now that I think about it, Diamond City is cool. Uh, what's the one in Fallout 3? Rivet City? The one that's on the ship? I think it's called Rivet. I should know this. I literally only beat the game like a week ago or a couple of weeks ago. Is it Rivet City? And it's set on the ship. 
But the thing about Rivet City is that it's really annoying to walk around. It's like just really poorly laid out and just very annoying. Maybe it's over here. There's definitely a pumping station. There's like a switch. Maybe it's down there. I want to see. And you get an item out of it. Well, I'd recommend you do... Uh, I recommend you, you play Fallout 3 at some point. Fallout. It's, it's still really good. And if you mod it, you, you can get rid of a lot of the stuff that I was complaining about. Uh, you can have like aim down sights and stuff. Whereas... Uh, I didn't mod it. I just wanted to play like the base experience because I just wanted to... I want to review it as the game itself now. You know what I mean? Okay, well, let's get dog meat first of all. One of my favorite companions. Just because he's a dog. It's as simple as that. Dogs are cool. Hello, dog meat. Hey, boy. What are you doing out here all by yourself? This game still looks fucking great. You want to come with me, pal? And I think, I think the reason why it looks okay, so good then. is that the graphics are a lot more stylized. Okay, and if I re see this is the this is the, just such a cool thing. I'm pretty sure this place is rigged with explosives. Okay, yeah, you have to actually pick up crap. And that is one thing I know a lot of people give out about it, but I do actually like that everything in the world is actually kind of useful. Dog meat. What did you find? Oh, thank you. <laughs> he found me a hard hat. Wait. Where's the hard hat? Cooking station? Armor workshop? Can I mod that? No, I can't. Uh, I played it completely on the Steam Deck, foe. I played Follow Tree completely on the Steam Deck, and... Using a controller. Now I could have. It's just I wanted to sit back at my deck or sit back at my couch and play it. So I could have played it normally, but uh, still, still very fun. Uh, I just deliberately spec'd into like a very vats heavy character because I knew that the aiming was gonna be shit. Mole rats. How do you activate vats? V? No. Or T. How does one activate VATS? Hmm. Z, X, Q, E. Hmm. Oh, battery life with the... Well... I To be honest, Fo, it, it, never, it never was an issue. Because I mostly played docked. I mostly played it in my dock on my, my Steam Deck dock so I could record it. But uh, I played it for like a good couple of hours once, not docked. So you can get a good couple of hours out of it. Yeah, Royal and I would I, I would recommend you give them a go at some point because they still they're still very good games. Even though like Fallout 3 and New Vegas don't hold up as well just like gameplay wise. Uh, as RPGs, just the quests. Still very fun. Store all junk. Does that get stored in this workshop? I forget. I think it does. Ah, sure, it doesn't matter, does it? Come back to that. Okay, we have dog meat. We got distracted. I'm going to uh, run over to this side of the river. Because I'm determined to see if... Oh, wait, actually. Controls. Vats. Vats, 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 vats. Q is vats. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, I have no AP. Oh, AP. Okay, you use AP by sprinting, don't you? You level up. Okay, what are we going into? Let's see. Pickpocketing, I don't really care about that. Keeper distance, automatic rifle or non-automatic rifles, defeat enemies, vats, that's kind of good. 
Uh, endurance, I don't really care about endurance. Uh, charisma, cap collector, lady killer. No, I don't really care about that either, for now. Gun nut, that's what I want to go into, because then you can start crafting stuff. Non-automatic pistols. Hmm. What do I want to spec into? I don't actually know, because I do want to get the gun, though, because then you can start leveling up crap. Oh, I can just go straight into gun, though. Okay, that's good. Because that was my favorite part of this game. Just crafting all the crazy weapons. I actually think it's actually probably one of my favorite weapon crafting systems in... in... Now, I'll have to see how, how this statement holds up, but... I think it is one of my favorite weapon crafting systems in, like, pretty much any game I've ever played. Biomutant also had a very good uh, weapon crafting system. Aha! I knew I wasn't crazy. If you go here... And then you break that circuit breaker and then you go up here i think you get like a pistol or something well there's something up here so let's save scum was i correct caps yeah yeah snub nose magnum yeah okay inventory so we'll put weapons we'll put you on one how do i uh Ah, right, yes. Put. Fave. And then we'll put you on... Oh, no, no, we want... No, crap. Okay, this is, this is slightly different to how follow one did, or follow three did it. So there. Two. Pipe pistol on three. There we go. You fecker. Yahoo! Oh, yeah, the shooting actually feels pretty good in this game. I was actually... Now that I think about it, I was I was going into Starfield, I was genuinely worried at what the gunplay would feel like. Because I just had this kind of Don't you dare bite dog meat, you fecker. I just had this thing in my head, like, oh Fallout doesn't never felt really good to play. But Well, Fallout 3 certainly doesn't, but this feels fine. In fact, I would say that this actually feels good. Though I don't really have much more ammo for that. No, I don't. What about the pipe pistol? Sure, we'll use the pipe pistol. I like these weapons because they're like... Really, they're makeshift. They're cool. Okay. Aluminum can. Okay, we'll just keep exploring. I mean, well, I'll do the main... I'll do the main quest up until... Up until a certain point when I meet... What's his name? Preston... Preston Garvey? Or Gravy? I forget because I'm not sure if I used to jokingly call him Gravy. Or that's his actual name. <laughs> but... His name is Preston Gravy, anyway. That's what that's what I'll call him. With the Minute Man, and you have to do the what were they called? Radial, radiant, radial, radial quests. Is that the term for them? Where they're just like constant, constantly uh, dished out and randomized. But yes, one of the main one of the main things about Bethesda games, and this is obviously something I'm going to touch on my review, is that even though Bethesda games have became less and less about being an RPG and more and more about being sort of like a world to explore and exist in. It just goes to show how good they are at building worlds and fun worlds to engage with because in the absence of like deep RPG mechanics, they're still ridiculously fun to play. Okay, what are we dealing with here? Are we at super mutants. We're, we're in raider territory. Jeez, I'm fucking pinging these people. Oh, ah, oh, no. I don't. I feel bad about killing this sort of dog. Get him, dog me. <laughs> I changed so quickly. I feel bad. Get him. <laughs> Okay, I I remember this area, and I don't know why. 
There obviously must have been a quest here at some point. Was that a, like, a suicide mole rat? Why do I keep pressing E for vats? Oh, that's good. Oh, yes. I don't know how many shots I missed there. Yeah, there's a settlement that needs your help. I'll mark it on your map. Ah, uh, Preston is cool. He's one of the more memorable characters, but I'm not sure if he's memorable because he's good, because, like, he's interesting, or just because of the memes. I'm pretty sure he's only memorable because of the memes. Jeez, I don't have that much pipe ammo. I have loads of 10 mil ammo. Okay, everything in Fallout is useful. Just pick up everything. Well, in Fallout 4, I mean. Oh, I actually have loads of uh, ammo and stuff to can. I'll pick up that dog food for uh, for dog meat, just in case he gets a bit hungry. And we'll uh, start chest. No. Okay, let me go into my invent, my inventory. Ew, I hate when people call it that. Salt gas mask. Uh, you cannot equip that item. Can I give that to dog meat? I'm pretty sure I can. Uh, Drifter outfield. That's five and seven. Okay, and I can put the jumpsuit on underneath that, can't I? See, I'm probably in my nip now. Let's see. Oh, no, I'm not. Dog meat, where are you? Is he actually called dog meat in this game? Hey. Trade. Oh, he just picks up the hard hat. Okay, uh, apparel. There you go. Chain dog collar. There you go, pal. You equip that. Oh, yeah, he's looking cool now. No one's going to mess with you. Did a prank call using a Preston soundboard. <laughs> a settlement needs your help. I actually kind of like I, I, I do actually forget quite a bit about this game, even though I've played it to death. Like I've played this game loads. Okay, how do I turn on my uh, my pit boy light? Yeah, there's a lot more ambient sound in this game. Oh, you fucker, run! All right, dog meat, you just stand there. That's fine, pal. You just walk straight into it. Like, yeah, that is great. Security's too good. Okay, well, I can't get into that. It's a shame. Oh, I keep pressing E to uh, to do vats. God, the 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 uh, XP noise very satisfying. May as well just pick up everything. Terminal's gotta be somewhere. Oh, I don't like shooting dogs like that. I really don't like shooting the the normal looking dogs. I don't mind shooting the weird like radiated ones. There's just something about shooting dogs, it just never feels good. Except for in Call of Duty. Okay, where? There we go. Oh shit! I got a bit too, uh, got a bit too, uh, too excited with that one. Yes. Also, if you notice, I'm talking weird. I have like a, a, a blister, like an ulcer in my mouth. So uh, I have to like talk with my mouth a certain way, so I might look a bit different or something. <laughs> I can't even. I can barely even smile as well. So I noticed it when I when I recorded my Atlas Fallen video. I was like, I was kind of my mouth was kind of talking like this. Okay, where is this? There's a person. There's a fecker about. Someone there? Oh, okay. It's a bit overkill, isn't it? Get her. Okay, two shots missed. One shot. Yeah, there we go. Lovely. Thank you, dog meat. Okay. 
Mini gone, yup. Okay, I'm already holding too much crap. I forgot that this would be an issue. <laughs> what can I get rid of? Look, I have six feckin' double barrel shotguns, but they're kind of useful, though. Uh, let me see. Like, uh, drop that. I probably have, like, a lot of this crap. Okay. A sack hood. Not really heavy. Raider's chest piece. Long John's there. Feckin' uses. We'll drop them. Raider. Leathers. See, I think leather might actually be useful to, like, keep. Okay, well, I'm... That's kind of annoying. I forgot that strength would... Uh... I didn't really think about that. I'm pretty sure them desk fans, if I remember correctly, are quite important because they have screws in them. And duct tape, I think, is also very important. Was there not already a, f a Family Guy fighting game? Or is that a different game? Oh, shit. That kind of scared me. Well, now we just wait. <laughs> Feck, I'm worn over. Sorry? What's our no, no, just rad barrels. Is there really nothing here? Oh, maybe there's something in here. I'm get I'm getting I don't know what I'm doing here. Nice. A Molotov. Lovely. Okay, is that everything in this place? I believe so. Okay. I might, I think I have to go back to, uh, to, what's it called? Sanctuary? Is that the name of the place? Their military grade circuit boards are probably quite useful. So I need to start transferring stuff. No problem, Paul. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your training. I should be out, uh, doing some exercise, but instead I'm playing Fallout. Okay. Oh. There's probably loads of good crap in here. Shotgun shells, Molotov. Heavy 10 mil pistol. Pre-war, what was that? 48, 24. Like, I'm feckin' six of them. I just need to be able to... Get to uh Get out, okay cool, I can get out. I just need to be able to make it back in time. There is two console family guy uh games. PS2 and original Xbox Family Guy game. Yeah, wasn't there a, a Family Guy MMO at one point as well? I think I remember that. I think I remember trying to play it and I don't know why I couldn't. I don't know if, it, if, like, the servers were down by the time I tried to play it or something, but I remember trying and it didn't work. Why does this game look so good? Okay, uh, store all junk. Does that mean now, if I... I can start, like, upgrading crap here? Let's see, can I do anything to this? I can give it the standard barrel. What does the standard barrel do? It just increases the range. Ah, feck it. Standard barrel's cooler anyway. Okay, I have to say, these menus are very cumbersome. They don't make any sense. 
Why can't I do... Oh, it's the... So... It's... So I just need to get adhesive. That's the thing that's... So I need to find glue. Comfort grip. Glow-sided heavy pipe rifle. Okay, so I think I'll just store a load of crap. God, these menus are... They're really not good. Okay, I don't need all them. Can I... I thought I could dismantle these. Hmm. Workshop. Yeah, I really thought I could... I'm sure... I can definitely dismantle them. Maybe it's just like a skill I need to... Oh my god, these menus. They... The buttons are all over the place. They also had cell phone games, like a quest for stuff and other... Yeah. Yeah, didn't they... Did Did Family Guy ever have like a, a Simpsons kind of tapped out kind of game? I haven't watched Family Guy in years. Okay, just bear with me here while I try to figure out these fucking controls. Okay, so... Enter is the store. Heavy, so what's that? 19. No, we just... Store you, store you. We don't really need any... I mean, we don't need six of them anyway. I'll tell you that, that for free. So they're 0.45, so I don't really need that either. Okay, and apparel. See, you just kind of want to... Uh, store everything that you don't need. Dirty water. Yeah, I think I literally just need to hold on to this steam packs as well. Miscellaneous, no mods, don't care about any of that. Yeah, okay. Loads of stuff now. I think we'll rest. Why am I, uh, oh, it's caps lock, okay. Do I have a bed? Why don't I have a bed? Do I have to build one? There has to be a bed somewhere I can sleep in. Or there mustn't be. Then how do I wait? Okay, this is just me trying to figure out buttons. No, not that. Not that. I, not that. U, Y, T, G, H, J. No. N, B, V, C, X, Z. I don't feck it, no. Feck it anyway. We'll just go. I think family... Oh, oh, that's the actual name of the games. That's really weird. Uh, I'm surprised there isn't more Family Guy games. Like, I know Family Guy isn't as big as The Simpsons. There was a lot of Simpsons games. A lot of good Simpsons games. Even the... Uh, even the movie game. I love... Uh, Simpsons Hit and Run, I think, is the best Simpsons game. But the movie game is also good. Well, I think... Hmm, I don't know. Let me think. What? I prefer Hit and Run, but I'm not sure if Hit and Run is the better game. I don't have to do this. Furniture. Beds. I just need a bed so we can rest. Okay, exit. Sleep. I'm going to sleep for 10 hours. And then we'll be off to uh, meet Preston Gravy. Do I have all my weapons? I, I literally have one feckin' bullet in my magnum. Yeah, see, the Simpsons game, like, is unique. It, uh, it really wasn't afraid to just do whatever the feck it wanted. It was also cool that there's, like, different versions of it. So, like, each version is different. Uh, which which I really appreciate. But there was a lot of cool, like, very unique levels in it. The only problem is, is I went back and played it. 
I don't know, maybe four or five years ago on the PS3, and the performance on it's really bad. Especially playing co-op. And I, I, I honestly, I couldn't play it anymore because it was just that bad, frame rate wise. But it's still fun. And it also had like these... Remember the hub level? That was like, you walked around Springfield. That was really cool. But I don't think anything will ever be uh, Simpsons Hit and Run. That game is... That game is class. Simpsons Road Rage was... I like that too, but... I think a lot of them games... Simpsons Road Rage and Simpsons Wrestling, I really like both of them. But I know Simpsons Wrestling apparently is like really buggy and like just a terrible game. That nowadays a lot of people just hate. And even back then it was bad, it's just... I was like four playing the Simpsons Wrestling and I thought it was the best thing in the world. I just remember Barney Gumbel's like special ability was he would uh, leave this big burp cloud on the in the ring are these the raiders i think they are i kind of wish i had more bullets for my long range weapons but i don't so we're just gonna have to go with the nine mil or the 10 mil pistol even Unless... Aha! Uh -huh. It's almost like... They're trying to teach you this. I have seven bullets for that. Uh, Favourite. Are these enemies over here? Lovely. Hello, Cristiano. Welcome to the stream. You haven't really missed much. I'm uh, kind of only really exploring the world now. And these guys aren't really too interested in me. Yeah, level three. Yup. Yeah, it's been ages since I've played it as well. I think last time I played this might have been 2018 or something. Sims game also is a unique course for each version. Oh, I, did, I didn't know the PSP and Wii ones had the same. Okay, what are we going with here? See, I like the, the single rifles, but I don't want the pickpocket. Pickpocket doesn't really... Locksmith. Sneak. Gunslinger. Oh, wait, okay, wait, 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 big leagues, what's that? Protect yourself, no, I don't care about that. Fire up the forge, no, melee weapons. I want to see, is there one for scrap and crap? I thought there was. Penetrator, sniper, refractor, locksmith, no, none of that. Aqua boy, no. Cannibal, ghoulish. Solar powered intimidation waste. Oh, is that it? No. Party boy, local leader, animal friend, attack dog. Lone wanderer. No, I don't really care about that. Scrounger. No. Bloody mess. No. 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 Hmm. Yeah, I thought there was as well. Scrapper. 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 Mister Sandman. Sneak. Commando. Ah, sure, it doesn't matter right now. I'll just go into the old pistols. Laser musket. Oh, yeah, here's a question for everybody when you're playing Fallout games. Do you usually use, like, normal weapons, or do you use energy weapons? Because I never, ever use energy weapons. Where's the laser musket that I just picked up? There we go.
Like, I'd literally, I'd like, I don't think I've ever done a build in these sorts of, in a Fallout game where I use the laser weapons. I've used them, and I do use them, but I, I don't spec into them. Oh, that's a bit confused. Oh, wait, I have to, oh, I have to wind this weapon up every time I use it. Cool, Ryland. Thanks for watching. I'll see you uh, on the next stream or whenever your phone gets charged. Okay, so Cristiano, you're playing a... Uh... Oh, wait, this is where you need to go after you get the power armor, isn't it? So, like, if you're playing Fallout 4, Cristiano, like, where... Where are you... What, what are you specking into? Well, actually, does it actually matter in this game? I'm not sure. I don't think it really does. Okay, pick up loads of crap. Yeah, see, in Fallout, uh, I just beat Fallout 3, Cristiano, and I want to do a video for, like, Fallout games before Starfield comes out. And Fallout 3, I don't know if this was because, is this because of the DLC that adds the extra 10 levels. Eventually, in Fallout 3, you, you just, you can just spec into everything. I need to actually save. I need to remember to save more. This weapon is kind of cool, though. Oh, you big fecker with your Molotov! Oh, and they use stims. Speaking of stims... What do I have stims set to? Q. Zero. God, the menus in this game are not good. And you'd think like a feckin' Bethesda game would work best on a on a mouse and keyboard, but just this just doesn't. Yeah, shouldn't have turned your back, mate. Uh, I literally just played Fallout 3 about a week ago. I beat it, well, maybe two weeks ago was the last time I played it. Bingo. I didn't do like a full, full playthrough. I beat the story. I played it like 25, 30 hours. Uh, did a good bit of side quests. Like I'd already played loads of it, so, you know, it's not a... Uh... Hello, Preston. What's going on here? Minutemen? Now I'm traveling backward in Protect the people at a minute's notice. Nope. That was the idea. So I, I played it all on Steam Deck, difference. which was class, Cristiano. I did, but Runs re really well on it. Part. Now it looks like I'm the last minute man left standing. Why is the audio desynced? Please, go on. Like, in Fallout. There were 20 of like, but only the, the VO. Were it's weird. Now we're five. First it was the ghouls in Lexington, and now this mess. It's a cruel world. God you think I don't know that? The thing. Uh huh. One good idea can. Start. There's a crash vertebrate up on the roof. Old school. Right. Well, looks like one of its passengers left behind a serious. Yeah. See, to be honest, uh, Cristiano, I was more just yeah, afraid. Protection. Uh, uh -huh. That Fallout Tree that. barely even I runs know, well. Right? On modern PCs, I remember struggling big time in like 2000 and maybe 13, 14, trying to play Fallout 3 would always crash because you're not playing on Windows, was it Windows Vista or XP when that came out? Uh, so I was expect, I was expecting it to like crash all the time on, on Steam Deck, but it doesn't. Uh, I'll never be able to play this game without Sim Settlement 2, maybe the best mod. Biostalker, welcome to the stream, first of all. But I, I forget, because last time I, I touched this game on PC, I modded it. 
Is that the is that the mod? Th this is a completely modless playthrough here. Is that the mod that like lets you scrap stuff? Like you you could hover out a whole or you could hover over a whole house in in sanctuary and just scrap the whole thing and it would just instantly scrap everything because that mod was very good. Power armor time, yup. I do like that they give you the power armor like right off the bat just to just to show you how cool it is. And then just swiftly take it away from you. Now. Up here. Boss, we got somebody up here. Yeah you do. Show me that Oh wait, isn't there doesn't a death claw spawn? Aha! I think a death claw spawns here. I could be wrong though. Oh, I thought. Oh, I thought that mod that I was using was class because. I wanted to like build, like completely flatten out sanctuary, and then uh, rebuild it from the ground up, and that just made me let me do it. Oh crap! See, because I'm like want to re-review this game, uh, Bio Stalker, for a video that I want to do, but. Uh, I want to review like it as the base product, not with mods, if you get me. See how it holds up, because that's what I did with Fallout 3 as well. Oh, don't kill dog me. You fecker. Yeah, I don't care. Can't do much damage to me, pal. Feck you. You hurt dog me. I don't like you. Yeah. Well, that does actually sound like a very useful mod. The settlements were definite. Oh, that's very depressing, isn't it? The settlements were definitely very lackluster. Uh, I I didn't. I haven't watched the Starfield direct or anything. Is there is there gonna be like set? Is there gonna be settlement building in Starfield? I don't actually know like anything about. I haven't really looked into it. I usually stay. Kind of go radio silent on them ga on games when I know I'm I'm interested and gonna play them. Yeah, oh, so see, C Cristiano, I'm definitely on the. Uh, I was I was on the other side of history, where my first experience playing Cyberpunk was on the PS5, playing the PS4 version when it launched, and the game was fine. I had like yeah, there, there was like all those issues with AI, but if if you played the game on a base PS4, the experience was awful. But the experience on a PS5 at launch, it, it wasn't. It was, you know, it was nowhere near as bad as as everyone made it out to be. Definitely not. But uh, I went back and I started a playthrough of Cyberpunk. Not too long ago, but then I stopped. Apparently, with this new... The new DLC they're bringing out, they're, like, revamping a lot. They're, like, revamping the whole game. RPG mechanics and shooting and everything. Sweet. So, I think I'll just wait until that comes uh, out and I'll do another playthrough of it. Well, we'll see, because right now... Uh, I'm... I mean, Starfield will be out at that point. So, Starfield's gonna take the, uh... Starfield's gonna take the cake for that month. And I'm also, like, I'm playing through Baldur's Gate myself. I don't think I'll make a video on it. I might do like a a review discussion with somebody, but I don't think I want to I don't think I want to properly do a proper video. I just want to keep Baldur's Gate to myself mostly. But RPG uh, fans are are eating good. It's it's going to be insane. Like, we're playing through Baldur's Gate, which that game is just... I, I can't understand how good that game is. It's just mad. 
And then Starfield. Hopefully, hopefully Starfield is going to be good. Uh, I, I just... I, I will be... I don't think I will be more disappointed. Or I don't think I could be any more disappointed in a game if Starfield turns out to be bad. Oh, Biostalker. Well, actually, Biostalker, what's your favorite... Uh, What's your favorite game? I that's I ask everybody that when they're new to the stream. What what uh, specs do you have on your PC as well? Cause I last time I when I restarted uh what you call it when I restarted Cyberpunk I was playing on the PS5 uh the actual PS5 version I have it physically. I don't think I have. I thought I bought uh, Cyberpunk physically, but I don't think I have it. Maybe did I lend it? I don't think I lend it. Now. Fallout Three is a good choice for your favorite game. I just replayed it there. It is special, especially if you played it when it came out. I was way too young to appreciate it at the time. And when it comes to Cyberpunk, from what I've played, I, I enjoy it. But there's something about kind of anything that isn't play. fantasy that just, just doesn't grip side. me. So, like sci-fi and Cyberpunk doesn't... Uh, doesn't I don't know. Okay. It just doesn't get... Yeah. It just doesn't resonate with me as much. I say that sitting here being a massive fan of Fallout. So, But I think Fallout, Fallout just has its own... You know, je ne sais quoi, as the French would say. Uh, You're welcome. Well, since there's just something special about it. All right, Garvey. Oh. Yeah, I remember what you were saying. Please. You're a. I believe this woman's a junkie, isn't she? I knew it. I. I feel great. Doesn't she like ask you for cams? Yeah, I knew she was a junkie. Talk about this. That junk. It's gonna kill you. We're all gonna die eventually. I live in Europe. What do you mean for why I like? F yeah, man. Mm. I mm. Do European people like fantasy more than cyberpunk? You have 3,000 hours in Fallout 4. That's insane. I think if I was to add them all up, I only have like 11 hours on Steam before this stream. And I can see myself, you know, easily playing 20 or 30 more hours uh, for a for the review. Uh, what else? How, how long have I played? I think I probably have maybe 100 hours in Fallout 4. <laughs> there was a zeme of it. <laughs> I don't know. Ah, uh, that's not xenophobic. If saying Saying... European people prefer uh, prefer RPG or fantasy over cyberpunk. Is uh, that's I don't think that's xenophobic. Sim settlements two makes three K hours. It is it is insane. See that's why I'm buying Starfield on uh, Steam. It is insane what mods can do for the life of a Bethesda game. Now in saying that, I don't really think I've ever. Uh, like I don't think I've put loads of time into a fall into a modded Bethesda game. I have modded them before, but usually I just give up eventually. I just kind of lose interest when they're mod. I don't know why. It doesn't make any. No, it makes no sense to me because they are better experiences when they're modded. Like in pretty much every single way, every single Bethesda game can be improved immensely by just modding it. But. For this one specifically, I just wanted to out of the box what is Fallout 4 like nowadays. Go on, tell me, Biostalker, what do I do?
watch the trailers for the mod. And then I assume I will want to download it then. Is that what the next... Uh, store all junk. I probably have loads of crap I can store. Uh, store, store. Store. I don't really need the minigun. Don't need the Molotovs right now. Don't need two of you. Don't need you. Don't need you. Don't need three switchblades. Do I need a tactical pipe pistol? Yes. I do. Red bandana. T45 arm. Welding goggles. Don't need any of that right now. Aid. Don't need you. Miscellaneous. Cool. Oh, now I have to do this feckin' tutorial, don't I? Where are you, Preston? Well, I'll probably just, uh, sleep. You should get here. Ah, everyone's here. Marcy. Hello, Marcy. Okay, where are you, Preston? Here you are. This game still looks stupidly good. This game doesn't even need any visual Glad mods. Decided to come with us. I should have listened to Mama Murphy all along. I think we could settle down here. Yeah. I used to like What do you mean? Before what? Uh-huh. I lived here over 200 years ago. I don't like a voice Damn. protagonist. Uh -huh. You say you were frozen. I really don't. Anybody else make it out with I think it's very uh my son. Very sure. oh, I don't anyway, know, jarring or something. I'm glad you're here. And I hope you don't mind, but I've got another favor to ask. I've had word from a subtle. The only chance trouble is. Yeah, see, I wouldn't, uh, Biostalker, I wouldn't, if you, want you know, I don't here, mind, uh, I don't mind settlements, but it wouldn't be something that I'd be, like, going to Fallout 4, you know? I've always, like, even in Minecraft, like, I used to play Minecraft a lot with my cousin, and he would be the builder, and I'd be the explorer. Sturges, where are you, mate? Why can't I... Why can't I open up my Pip-Boy? Is this a Fallout glitch? Ah, there we go. Talk with settlers at 10 points bluff. Okay, I don't really care about that right now. We're just gonna set course for Diamond City. And we'll see... What way the wind takes us. Hello, Axel. Welcome to the stream. Uh, you are new, I believe. Are you new to the channel? Or have you watched before and you're just joining? Or what's the story? But welcome. Okay, I have to level up, I believe. Let's see. Why isn't it? Ah, yeah, T. Oh, I leveled up twice. Okay, what, what are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? Hello, Axel. Well, welcome. Axel, what's your favorite game? Sneak. Mr. Sandman. Action boy. Moving target. Okay, we don't really care about any of this. Uh, for now, anyway. What am I, what am I specking into is the real question. Ah, guitar player, welcome. Ah, uh, Fallout New Vegas, that's a good choice. I personally prefer Fallout 3. Now, I haven't played Fallout New Vegas in a while, but I think I've always preferred 3, and the reason because the reason for it, and it's the same with Fallout 4, is that I really like how historical the games are, you know? I missed it. Oh, oh what did I miss? Local leader. Quicker hands. Blitz. Inspirational. Robotics expert. Chemist. Scrapper was near the top. Scrapper. Fortune finder. Scrounger. Oh, my blind. Gunslinger. Vans. Cap collector. Toughness. Pickpocket. Iron fist. Big leagues. Riveman. Lead belly. Lady killer. Medic. Commando. Scrounger. Bloody mess. Gun nut. 
Lone Wanderer Life Awareness Armorer Blacksmith Locksmith Chem Resistance Attack Dog Hacker Mr. Sandman Mysterious Stranger Idiot Savant Action Boy Ah Scrapper There we go There we go Thank you Cristiano I'm blind I have one more that I can spec into I don't really think Do Do I need to spec into the Into the stats I, I, I forget We got locksmith though, locksmith is always useful. Okay, so that means I can start probably modding some crap. Then we have to use these feckin' stupid menus again. Weapons, let me see. Mama Murphy, can we talk? I know what you're gonna ask. Do I get any adhesives? Because they're the... They're the things, aren't they, that are really... Uh, no, I don't want to modify you. That are really important. Uh, scrap. Tactical, do I care about that? Close out heavy pipe rifle. Pipe pistol is what I want, because I'm not specced in the rifles. Thanking you. Lovely. Okay, now, can we actually start uh, scrapping stuff? Or modifying hey, stuff. Do you have a moment? I wanted to thank you for helping us out in Concord. Comfort grip. Improve recoil. Cool. Standard sight. So I want a scope. Yeah, feck it. We'll put it where. You're getting a scope. You're getting a scope. And then we go 10 mil. Ah, oh, no. I, I kind of. I should have kept my adhesives. Oh, well. Well, there we go anyway. Don't mention it, pal. Mention it. You have no idea. Uh -huh. My son, he's... Uh-huh. Uh, you failed him. Now, nah, I could just... I can never be an arsehole in these games. I always uh -huh. have to be nice. Every single time I play an RPG, I'm like, yeah. On my second playthrough, I'm going to be an arsehole. And I just can't. I just cannot ever be an arsehole in games. I'm just too nice of a person, you know? Okay, so one so one of the things I want to do, I want to... I remember the story in this game pretty well. So for the review, I don't really care about 100% beating the story. But what I want to do is do the Far Harbor DLC. So what I will probably... I'll probably have to... Get to like a certain level. And then... I will then... Uh, we'll fast travel over here. And we'll go to 10 points bluff. I know I said we'll make course for, for Diamond City... But yeah, I I was I was pretty mean to him, but that's because he's a door to door salesman, and they're just annoying. I try to be nice to them people in real life, but in a game, nah, they can feck off. I'm telling, boy, Cristiano, are you are you usually the arsehole in games? I just, I've never, ever, ever been able to be mean in games. Even to, like, in Baldur... Well, I don't want to say anything. I'm only five hours into Baldur's Gate, but I don't want to say anything. Uh, you know, it's not really spoiler territory, but it's definitely a game that's best left for you to just play. Uh, you, and then... Pop you there, tree, minigun. Why do I have... Oh, why did I bring the feckin' minigun? Uh, my raisin friends. Yeah, yeah, me too. I'm, I'm, uh, maybe, I guess, I, I'm sure at some point I'm probably overly polite. But, well, you know, that's for, that's for somebody else to, to say. I've also tried Red Dead 2, trying high honor there. What's, uh, what's high, oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, same, I was the same in Red Dead 2. I never actually beat Red Dead 2, though, because the game is just too long. And... I've, I've never really been a fan of Rockstar games. I can appreciate their quality. I can appreciate Rockstar games are stupidly high quality. They are very good games, but they're just not for me. 
I can play them for a while and then eventually I'm like, okay, I've had enough. I've had enough of our, of my rocks there. We don't need any more trouble around here. Didn't you ask the minute? You're with the minute men? I didn't really think you fellas still exist. We said Of course we are. Most people don't put much stock. Minute men are back. Don't get the wrong. There's a rating. We know with it. Yeah, cool. I understand. I I, I don't I don't care about this dialogue. I I will. The, these are the radial quests. I'll just do. I'll do one. We'll see. It's mad. Like I've done this exact same thing. I've I've done this exact same thing in this game a hundred million times. Yeah, the long. Uh, oh, that that was good, wasn't it? The start of. Red Dead 2 is very slow. But it is, it's, it's a stupidly high quality game. Oh, Super Mutants. Hello, boys. Ah, here now, I'm not dealing any damage to these feckers. Oh. What do I have my stim packs on? I need to. I only have one bullet in that. Do you know what? It's shotgun time. Yeah, there we go. Oh! Heal! Bob and weave! Ah, oh, shit. Oh, I'm dead. Well, had a backlog of games, my old computer wouldn't run the all four. Yeah, it's great when you it's great when you build a new PC and then you're like, oh my god, I can play all these games. It's it's uh, it's really cool. Uh, that didn't go very well. Yeah, I'm currently Biosaga running at 140. Well, it's kind of dipping. I'm sure there, I can I can sort it out. I'm also streaming off the same PC. But I'm doing uh, 1080p at 144 hertz. I'd say when I'm not streaming and I kind of optimize the settings a bit, I might hopefully be able to get... I think 1440 at 144 might be possible with my PC, but uh, I, can, I can certainly try. Wait, there's like leaning out of cover in this game? I completely forgot about that. Yeah, this game, this game looks, still looks great. I, I really don't mind, like I really don't care about resolution most of the time. Uh, I'd much, I would much rather have a, I'd much rather play a game at 144 hertz than 1440p. Ideally, I'd be able to do both, but uh, I don't have like a monster of a PC. Like I have a, well, that's so depressing. Come on, come on. Hey. Please don't die on me. Uh, I have a 6600 XT, a Ryzen 5800G and 32 gigs RAM. So it's it's a good PC, but it's not like a you know a proper powerhouse, you know? Because I needed something for the editing and all that crap. It does the job. Like I, I recently just played Atlas Fall in there and reviewed it and that's a brand now obviously it's a double A game. It doesn't look like it's not breaking the bounds of what uh, graphics look like, but I can play modern games on it and I'm really curious to what way Starfield will run on my PC and I'm Wondering if I should just buy it on Xbox and play it on on my Series S. But then I'm running into the problem of, will the game run on the Series S well? And we'll have to wait and see. Hopefully I'll be able to get a review card for it, I really hope. Microsoft, uh, what the hell? My, Microsoft seems to be uh, pretty good with giving out, uh, giving out codes and stuff. 1440p, 100, oh, 165 hertz. Yeah. See, I... Is there much difference? Because... Like, between 60 and 144, there's a, not a noticeable difference. But is there much difference between 144 and 165? Yeah. See, I, I would have thought that. See, because, like, there's a difference between 60 and 120, but... 
I'd say even between 120 and 144, you might be able to notice a small difference, but it wouldn't be massive. Well, for me, anyway. I have to say, I'm liking this rifle. Usually I don't use a... Uh, the... The... Power... Or whatever these weapons are called. What are they called? Uh, science weapons. Is the game really dark? Do, do I need to turn turn up? Uh, is, can you still see it? I mean, because this light in the game doesn't actually do much. Can I actually change? No, I probably have to go into it. Why do Bethesda games do this? Is it something to do with the creation engine? Excuse me. Thanks for the help. Like that, you have to. Uh, change the settings outside and then reload the game yeah but even me like i'm 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 25 and i'd say i'd struggle big time to see any difference between 120 and 165 or whatever oh wait i have diamond city marked on the map ah feck it we're going to diamond city anyway I'm just gonna keep exploring feck it i don't need to uh why is this why is this area like this? I don't really remember being here. Any other games, uh, everybody that they're looking forward to for the rest of the year apart from Starfield? Obviously this is the reason why I'm playing Fallout 4, but uh any Armored Core fans around? Because I played them recently, I did a video and Armored Core is pretty cool. It's actually really cool. Okay, well we are getting ratted up. But I don't really care. Is this... I haven't played that since the PS2. Yeah, I, uh, I just played Armored Core 3, which was a PS2 game. I emulated that. And then Armored Core Verdict Day, which is a PS3 game that I downloaded on the PSN. Pretty fun. Well, Armored Core 3 was interesting. Very difficult to get into. Because the controls were so weird. Pokemon stuff. Yeah, Detective Pikachu was interesting. I have that. I really like the movie. I think it's one of the best movie games. Or TV game movies. Jesus. And I started playing the game ages ago, but I never finished it. And I don't... I don't remember it being that I didn't like it. I think something just came up and I got distracted or something. I know I keep saying it, but this game just still looks great. I don't even know, like, where this overpass takes me. Or a highway, as the Americans would call it. Over here, we call them motorways. They're not highways. There's Irish terminology 101 with Adam. So I think my plan is I'm gonna I'm gonna play through this game off stream as well, but I'll probably stream it like maybe once a week up until I make my review. Cause uh, these games are good for streams, cause yeah, it's kind of a bit story heavy, but I've played the story a lot. Uh, and to be honest, it's not that I don't really think this the right well the writing in this game from what I can remember, it's not bad, but it's certainly not on the level of Fallout 3 or Fallout New Vegas. Is this going to be, like, a dead end and I can... Am I just going to... Uh, well... We'll just do a quick save. Wee. Not yet. <laughs> Remember how long the load times were on PS... Oh, no, what's going on? Oh, no, everything's messed up. Let's see. Is, it, is everything going to go back to normal? Is the stream back to normal? Uh, does anybody know the, the console commands for no fall damage? <laughs> I 
Yeah, it's it's not even. Uh, I need to side with the institute. Yeah, I never I never side with the institute. The institute are prop. They're just boring to me. I kind of, I like I was playing through a follow tree story and it kind of ends very fast. It's like it gets going and then it ends. You know, spoilers for Fallout Three, if anybody's wondering. But like, you meet your dad and it feels like in about three quests he dies. And then you kind of have the final showdown pretty quickly after that, and then. Cristiano, I don't know if I should believe you or not. Ah. Oh, crap. See, I have a, I have a 65% keyboard here. How do I bring up the uh, console commands? Yeah, Liam Neeson is there. I'll give uh, Liam Neeson's voice. <laughs> ah, there we go. It's fine. Liam Neeson... Irish, of course. One of the uh, the bigger Irish stars we've ever produced. Killian Murphy as well. Or Cillian Murphy, as a lot of people call him. Which just makes me cringe hard every single time I hear that. And one day, people will be like, Adzi, he's also an Irish export that people know about. Maybe. Do I remember the last time it doubted you? Why, Chris? Oh, I do, Cristiano. I do. And it was when you told me... What was the name of it? Uh, what was it? Sick Needle Pig. Uh, Sick Needle Pig Death Metal Japanese Band or something. What was it? What were they called? I can't even remember the name. And it is something I probably should remember because it's quite ridiculous Medica heavily medicated death pigs or something needle infected poor heavily medicated <laughs> heavily medicated pigs I was close well maybe not close but jeez I'm I'm uh, makeshift battery I'll pick that up is there another enemy around here? Heavily medicated pigs, yeah. Well, I think uh, that's going to be my metal band now. Okay, let's go on to the old map here. Where are we going? We're going to Diamond City. We're just going to do it. Usually it takes me about six years to get to Diamond City because I'm off doing something else. Because I want to get to the... Sil it's the Silver Shroud. Is that in Diamond City? I don't think it is. Jeez, I don't play games on my PC. My fucking elbows are sore. Because they're like resting on my desk awkwardly. So I just don't play games on my mouse and keyboard anymore. Because I'm not a nerd. Hello. Glad I noticed that mine, because that would have scared the crap out of me. <laughs> is this, this is an enemy base. Okay, cool. Come here to me, Betsy. Okay, well, he can't get me there, which is good. There's an enemy over there. Ah, well, I can I can understand uh, I can understand why you thought it was a stream or a video, Alex, because I used the pretty much the exact same thumb as what I would on a on a video. Maybe that's something I should think about. Uh, that's probably a uh, a good thing that I should have separate looking thumbnails so people know at first glance. But yeah, welcome to the stream, Alex. I'm playing with a mouse and keyboard. Like a nerd. Don't you dare shoot hit dog meat, you fecker. 
Get him, dog meat. Get him. I don't know if his name actually is. Uh, yes, probably. Call of Duty, actually. No, no, no. Call of Duty and Halo. They're, I, I, I do genuinely believe Halo is better on uh, controller. And actually, about Call of Duty, I'm not sure if I say Call of Duty is better. I think it's just on par. Oh, a glow-sided 10 mil pistol. Nice. Nice cock. Splatoon on mouse and keyboard will be class. See, I played... I, I dipped in between playing... Uh, Halo on mouse and keyboard and controller. Halo Infinite. And I felt like I I prefer I preferred it on uh, cons on controller. And I think I think a lot well, not a lot of people think that, but I think that's not like a completely crazy take. I'm pretty sure like other people do also think that. Halo Infinite is actually a competent game now. I might actually download it. I do like Halo Infinite. Halo Infinite is very fun. It's, like, it's, 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 just a, it's honestly just a stupidly fun game. It's, it's crazy how they made such a fun game, but it flopped because they just don't know how to manage stuff. Because Microsoft just... I don't know. A bit incompetent, I guess. That's, that's what it seems, seems to me, anyway. Just a few hours of 1k. I think there's very few games that I have that many that much time in. I think Rocket League, Minecraft, Terraria. Games I have. There's a question for everybody. What games do you have like over? Are there any games that you have like over a thousand hours in? Because I think it's only Rocket League, Terraria. Well, Biostalker, I already know your answer, but you might have more. Mario Kart Eight, nah, yeah, I don't, I don't think I have. I definitely have like probably close to five hundred hours of Mario Kart Eight across across uh, Wii U and Switch. <laughs> ah, a new customer. Welcome to Max Bar. We are currently open for business. Please excuse the mess. I've never met this person before. Nice location. Thank you kindly. Picked the place myself. Plenty of room for expansion in an up-and-coming neighborhood at an unbeatable price. Anyway, what'll it be? Just browsing. Just whistle. With I don't ever remember. See, I thought this was going to be a quest. What do you say? But then, Cristiano, what game do you have the most time in? Out of, out sure. of like, if voice. you can remember. Okay, well, he just sells alcohol, which I guess makes sense. See, and, like, with a game like Minecraft, it's just, like, I've owned Minecraft since 2010. So, you know... A hundred hours a year is, is a thousand hours, and I definitely... There are years that I have played Minecraft for a couple of hundred hours each, so... Oh, I kind of wish I could listen to the radio. Oh, Wonder Glue. Yes, adhesive is important. Does duct tape count as adhesive? I think it might as well. Go on, Biostalker, what are the games? Yeah, no, there's there's a lot of games that I have over a hundred hours in. 
Yeah, 6k, yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, as a series, yeah. I, I've, I've put a lot... The Pokemon game I played the most was... I, I don't know if it was Platinum or Heart or so I had Soul Silver. I don't know if it was Platinum or Soul Silver because I did everything in them games and Platinum I've beaten multiple times. It's probably Soul Silver on one playthrough because I had the 16 gyms, didn't I? But yeah, there's loads of games that I have over 100 hours in, like board, all the Borderlands games. Jesus Christ, they love them fucking traps, don't they? All the Borderlands games. Uh, all the fallouts, I guess. All the... Skyrim. Oblivion. Dragon Age Origins. World of Warcraft. Uh, I'm trying to think. Oh, Breath of the Wild. Lo yeah, there's loads of games that I have well over 100 hours. Rocket League, Overwatch 1, Overwatch 2. Pretty much every single Call of Duty up to probably Black Ops 3. Every FIFA up until FIFA 19. Uh, well, all the FIFAs that I was around for anyway. Yeah, a lot of games. A lot of games. So, Fallout 4, World of Warships, Part of Exile, Armour 3. I never got into Armour. I tried. And I tried to get into DayZ as well, but uh, it didn't work out. Ah, uh, Alex, I am six hours into Baldur's Gate, and I could sit here and talk. I could probably give you 10 or 12 different instances of unique encounters, side quests, characters... That just completely blew me away, and I'm six hours in. So, if if that continues, the game deserves every single bit of success it gets because it's so so good. Ah, oh, there's a glowing one in down there. I remember this this place. At least 500 in every Pokemon game. Yeah, yeah. I think Heart Soul Silver. I, I can picture my. I can picture my platinum save was over 200 hours yeah Baldur's Gate 3 is out on PC I'm playing it completely on my Steam Decks or Steam Deck Alex and it's a great perfect game for it only 200 I have a, I have a video on the Witcher 3 Biostalker that uh, I basically go into how I don't it just I just can't get into the Witcher I just can't I, I like the Witcher 1 and 2 uh, well, you know, The Witcher 1 obviously is difficult to play. I don't think I'm, I should have uh, shot them, but fuck it. Oh my god, I missed every single shot. I'm used to playing Fallout 3 where I was unstoppable. It's shotgun time, bitches. I really didn't mean to shoot these lads, but I'm probably gonna die here. Yeah, Divinity Original. I I never played uh, Original Sin 2, but I played the first one. I never beat it though, but I really liked it. Uh, Larian have a studio in Dublin. For anybody that wondered, pretty cool. Pretty cool that one of the. Uh, one of the biggest games of the year was partially developed in Dublin. I don't know what the Dublin studio do, but I'm sure they had their hand in it to some extent. Oh shit, now the ghouls are here. Well, I would, uh... I can definitely see... I can definitely see that, uh... Baldur's Gate being game of the year. Shit, that's a glowing one. Yeah, see, I think... It'll be interesting to see what uh, what Starfield does in Game of the Year. Because, like, 
Spider-Man is ne Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, no. Oh, help. Feral ghoul, I'm stuck. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how Starfield stacks up against them because even though I haven't beaten it, uh, Tears of the Kingdom is my game of the year so far. Uh, Baldur's Gate 3 looks like it could be game of the year. And... But Starfield could also be in it. I don't think Spider-Man's ever going to win Game of the Year. And then other than that, I can't see any of the other games coming out at the end of the year be beating it. And no, God of War should not have beaten Elden Ring last year. I don't even think... I don't. I honestly don't even think they're close. Because... Let me explain. The reason is... Oh, dog me. He's back. Uh, well, oh, well. let me explain after I kill this. Do I even have enough ammo to kill this, lad? I probably don't. But you know what? We'll cripple him. I'm just, he's gonna, he's gonna one-shot me. Didn't exactly one-shot me. In fact, why am I even taking this fight? Uh, okay. Let me explain why I don't think God of War should have got... Uh, game of the year while I try to run away from this factor. Basically, when I, personally, when I think of, of game of the year, I think of not only the best game, but a game that kind of, a game that, I don't know, I, I, how do I put this? A game that was more than just the game itself, you know? And I think that's what Elden Ring is. It's, a game that was talked about for months. It was in sales charts. It was top of YouTube search. It was just absolutely everywhere. Nobody ever shut up about uh, Elden Ring. But also... Well, yeah, actually, Biostalker... Yeah, that's another thing. Is that it transcends its own genre. That, that is very good. That How many... Like, Elden Ring sold, what, 20 million copies? I think the next best Dark Souls game sold 12... If I, if I, I think Dark Souls 1 sold 12 million. So 8 million more people. Like, Elden Ring, the Soulsborne series was a series that was, yeah, it was very popular, but it was niche. Well, not niche, but it was for a certain type of person. Whereas Elden Ring transcended that, as Biostalker put very, very well. And it's just, it's, Elden Ring was everything. And it also proved to me that FromSoft are just the masters of game design. Uh, well, not that it really needed to be proved anymore because they they are just amazing. But, like, God of War was a very good... I've God of War, Ragnarok, unbelievable game. But it was just more God of War. It was like, I think... I don't know where if I heard this or if I said it. See, this is the problem with listening to podcasts and stuff. I don't know if I said this or I heard this. But, so if someone else said this, it's their quote. If someone else... If I said this, it's my quote. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I, rev I, uh, I beat uh, Ragnarok. I reviewed it. Oh, no, well, I didn't review it for Game Explain, but I did cover it for Game Explain. But uh, Ragnarok just... Ragnarok was just more God of War. It's kind of like... Now, I do think God of War, Ragnarok, and God of War 2018 are better than Spider-Man, like, just as a franchise and as a game. They're more... They're not just an open world game. But I think that's what Spider-Man 2 is going to be. Spider-Man 2 is going to be more Spider-Man. Like, it'd probably be better Spider-Man, just like Ragnarok was. Ragnarok was... I don't know, again, if I, I heard this or I said this, but God of War was a really nice burger, and then Ragnarok was a really nice burger with, you know, nice pickles and nice tomatoes and lettuce and maybe a bit of avocado on it, and it was just delicious. So I just added that extra bit on top of it and made an already delicious burger an even nicer one. And I think that's what Ragnarok was. Where Elden Ring was just a special game. And it's the same. It's kind of like there are these games. Tears of the Kingdom. Breath of the Wild. Uh, like Tears of the Kingdom. Breath of the Wild. Elden Ring. I, I honestly even think I, Overwatch should have won game of the year in 2016. But Overwatch as well to a certain extent. It's like they're just... I don't know. They just have this aura around them of like, Jesus, everybody. And it's not even like a popularity contest. 
but it's just like everybody loved this game everybody was talking about this game and not only were they talking about it because it's popular it's also just a fantastic game i'm almost certain over or wait maybe it did oh no sorry overwatch did win game of the year in 2016 oh yeah no no okay there we go i i thought for whatever reason it didn't but it did Ragnarok improved so much on gameplay from 2018 story and Lord of World building some of the best. No, it is, but it's it's more God of War. And I think I think that's why it's probably harder for sequels in my eyes to win a game of the year. Because even with Tears of the Kingdom, I think something will beat out Tears of the Kingdom. Right now, Tears of the Kingdom is my favourite. Is it will be my game of the year unless either Baldur's Gate 3 or Starfield knock it out of its place. But it's very difficult for sequels to wow you because you know what's coming. As in, I knew I like I knew what I was getting with God of War Ragnarok. Yes, I loved it. It's one of my favorite PlayStation games, but it wasn't surprising. It wasn't particularly uh not inventive, but it, it was a safe game, you know? Where Elden Ring didn't feel safe. That's that's where I'm kind of saying. And I think it's the same with... Like, and I... I think Tears of the Kingdom has a better jo a better chance of winning Game of the Year. Because Tears of the Kingdom is... Even though it's the same map, Tears of the Kingdom is... M so different to Breath of the Wild. It's unbelievable how they managed to switch. Just flip things completely on, on its head. But, uh... I have to beat Tears of the Kingdom, though, first. Which I hope... I, I don't... <laughs> I really don't know where I'm going to fit it in. I was also going to hope that Diablo 4 would uh, kind of be in for a quest, but I, I don't know. I kind of gave up on Diablo 4. Not because it's bad, just, I don't know. That was a very rambly thing. See, th these are, this is a problem with doing this stuff on stream. It's kind of hard, especially when you're playing a game to kind of properly articulate yourself and make it make sense, you know? Because I'm sure I went about in circles there and contradicted myself to some extent but when the when the tier list is at the end of the year it'll all be sorted then my 100 game tier list because i have a feeling that that's i do i have a feeling that's how many games i'm gonna play yeah it's been i from what i from what i have seen alex it seems that Okay, wait, wait. I need to get to the other chat. Uh, from this perspective, then, Baldur's Gate 3 is better than Tears of the Kingdom. Maybe. We'll have to see. See, I've only played six hours of Baldur's Gate, so I don't want to say anything. Uh, Overwatch is just Blizzard's version. See, I, I just love Overwatch. And the problem is, my friends that I played Overwatch with don't want to play it anymore, so now I don't have anybody to play it with. Uh, Diablo 4 is being absolutely slammed. Yes. I, I think the reason why it's being slammed is that a lot of... Are, isn't it that a lot of people are annoyed that... Uh, Diablo games... You have to delete your character when a new season starts and you have to start over. I think that's from what I've seen anyway. Which I do think is pretty annoying. It's pretty stupid. I, I understand that's what... That's what Diablo 4 is. Like, that's what Diablo is. And it, it, always, it has always done that. But... I still think it's pretty stupid. Stop playing around, Danny. I'm standing out in the open here for crying out loud. Yeah, see, but guitar player. In, Piper. I can understand why just Diablo 4 job. is always online. Ooh, just doing your job. Protecting Diamond City means keeping me out. Is uh, that it? I know oh, Diablo look, 4 was... Or Diablo Ooh, 4 is more of like a live service America Destiny really kind of game. Piper. Where people are always in your world. So it makes more sense lies. for it to be always the online. Oh. I just need to pee. Oh, it's coming to Steam. Oh, that's really cool. I just need to pee, so I'll be back in a minute or so.
connections, the lovers, the dreamers, and me. Same thing. Oh well, no, it's not. It's not that I'm struggling. It's just that I played with my friends and I use that as like a way to play a multiplayer game with my friends, Cristiano. But now they don't want to play it, so I have to find something else. Yeah, a lot of yeah, a lot of people uh, seem to like. It's kind of like Warframe. Part of Exile kind of reminds me of Warframe, where it's like. You play Warframe or you play part, part of Exiles, you don't play anything else. You devious rabble rousing slanderer. The level of dishonesty in that paper of yours. I'll have that critter scrapped for parts. Ooh, that a statement, Mr. McDonough? Tyrant Mayor shuts down the press. There's something really weird with the audio. I don't know what the feck is going on. Mayor McDonough? One second, sir. Should I go out and help them here? Are you a raider? No. Okay, cool. I think... Alpha vicious mongrel. Oh! Yeah, WoW is a life bro. WoW is the most addictive game ever. But I, oh, I love WoW so much. But I could never play it. If I ever got back into WoW, I would never. Uh, I would never. No content would ever get made. I'd have to become a WoW YouTuber. Why don't we ask the newcomer? Will you support the news? Because the mayor's threatening to throw free speech in the dumpster. I do support the news. Free speech is very important. Why is there no subtitles? This game is weird. Always believed in freedom of the press. Oh, I didn't mean to bring you into this argument, good sir. Welcome to the great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Say, don't let this muckraker hear. What are you... What do you think? <laughs> no. I don't know if you want Is to listen to the dialogue. I can if people want to, but I usually just city. read it and then just skip. I'm trying to find. I'm trying to find my son. Wait. Oh, you hear that, McDonough? What? Uh, don't listen to her. Mm -hmm. Diamond City has every conceivable service known to man. One of our great citizens can surely find the time to help you. Well, sure. And well. Uh, there is uh, one private citizen, Nick Valentine. No, I have to get going. I'm sorry. This what is the ridiculous. hell? That is the audio and the. Security. I've mm -hmm. had enough of this, Piper. From now on, consider you and that little sister of yours. On so the weird. Way. Keep talking, McDonough. That's all you're good for. <laughs> I'm impressed. Not everyone can claw information out of hey. McDonough's tight-fisted hands. Hmm. Why don't you stop by my office after you see Valentine? I think I just found my next story. Okay, Piper. Can you get her as a as a companion? I think you can. Jesus, the colors are really nice here. Hey One there. of those Around here we call your haircut the scrap special. Uh-huh. pass. So I come on. You can't even see my head. Hello, <coughs> Cutty. You there. Talk some sense into my Oh, also another thing that was really cool in Fallout 3 was Jesus in Fallout 3 there's a quest. Hi, in Somebody Rivet City, where you meet this sense. woman who's looking for a synth, Seriously, and of some someone's trying to hunt the synth to kill them, and then the person who wants you to save the synth is from the railroad, which is really cool. 
Then so should you. You just said no one could tell the difference, Ma. Now will you leave my customers alone? Snip, snip, and fam, you're beautiful. Hey, Scabber. Got plenty of ramen. Now you've been saying that for weeks in the old girls' book. Selfish rat, Kim. A new file to open. Do you have a legitimate medical concern? Or is this about a facial reconstructive service? Yeah. See what's wrong with me, Doctor. Go over your symptoms with me. Uh, I'm a cordial health. Sure. Do we even have cops? I don't know how many cops I have. I don't know if cops are... I mean, usually it always just ends up where Done. shit doesn't matter in these games. <laughs> After, like, level 15 or 20 the game, like, up some rat. just... We'll you up. Uh -huh. Nothing matters. You have so many cops, so many steams, everything. Done. Now, was there anything else? No Nothing. other complaints. Off you go, then. What if he is? Hey, hey, enough of that. Easy for you. It's easy living. It's easy to live. Oh, I remember this guy. You there. You need a genuine, authentic, custom-made hickory. Let's see what you have. Hand made. Weapons. Oh, he only... Oh. Should have went with a melee build. I've never actually done melee in, in a Fallout game. <coughs> That's probably for a reason, though. The new guy? Word kind of travels. Name's Arturo Rodriguez. Uh-huh. So you know weapons. Listen, I can sell you guns. Install a scope. Anyway, let's get... Let's see what you got. Everything... Uh -huh. I really, I really not feeling the, uh... The dialogue. It's really... I, I don't remember it, like, really annoying me as much as it is now. But... It's very, uh, I don't know, it's just, it's just not the same. It just doesn't feel good. Like, not really know what you're going to say. Ah, thank you, Cristiano. Enjoy the rest of your day. You? I don't know you. Just keep your distance. Okay, thank you. That's exactly right. Human as the day I was born. Well, you do look human enough. But I'll be watching you. I have, mm -hmm. all right. Uh-huh. Let's see what you have. Just don't call it. You're selling any cool... Ooh, how much are they? I can buy a Tommy gun. What have I done? They use 0.45 ammo though, and I don't really have much. Probably would not be... Probably wouldn't be worth my while using it. Hunting rifle use 308. I know I'll get a hunting rifle. Do you know what? In fact, I'm just going to buy it. I don't really care. It's rare that you actually buy something. Pretty much never buy something. Well, we can probably get rid of you then, can we? Let's see. Easy for you. Home plate. Okay, well, actually... I think there's a good point to leave this stream. Because, uh getting late here i will probably my plan is hopefully play like stream this maybe once once a week for uh, until i get the review done uh, i'll probably be playing it uh and i will be playing it in the background as well so you won't be seeing the whole playthrough but i will be playing this a lot of reviews coming out i hopefully have a couple lined up for uh the end of this month at the start of the next. So, yes, I appreciate everybody watching. This was a very good stream. Thank you, everybody. And uh, see you all in the next stream. And now the stream will probably shit itself because I have to tab out. So, goodbye.